Hit it, John. Get into this groove, it's good. I went to see a preacher to hear what he would say. He said he taught the Bible and the things it had to say. But some things didn't sound right, even though he said he'd prayed. He used the words and verses, but the meanings really strayed. So I went to see him after to ask a thing or two. It seemed to me that that would be the wisest thing to do. He gave me lots of answers, but I couldn't quite compute it. I knew what he was using was a funky hermeneutic. That's right. You know the Bible doesn't work this way, right? Because you might just open it up and it says Judas went and hanged himself, and that's not where you're wanting to go that day. Another one. So I went into a bookstore to see what I could find, a tome to touch my soul and biblically inform my mind. I really liked the cover. The writer seemed the spirit. She knew that we would all agree if we could only hear it. She used the Bible's phrases and she really was sincere. But how she got her viewpoint from the Bible wasn't clear. The more I checked the context to see how she construed it, I knew what she was using was a funky hermeneutic. I think that's a lot of us, right? Doesn't work that way. Didn't work that way for Ray Walston and it won't for you and me. But you know, we get there a certain way, so I have to tell a little story out of school for ourselves. You see, I had to lead a study on Philippians 4.13. I taught, I can do all things, and what I thought it means. When someone asked a question, some doubts did soon arise. She asked me if by all things I thought maybe I could fly. I knew that that was stupid. Was that stuff in the text? In a bounding or a basement, living Christ was his context. I knew I'd misapplied it. I knew I'd really blew it. It fell apart because I'd used a funky hermeneutic. It's kind of like that. It doesn't work like that. You can put the cape on, but you can't fly because you can do all things in Christ. That's not what he's talking about. So anyway, after working through that, here's my last word. So when you read your Bible, don't go by what you feel. Only what the author meant right then is what is real. No matter what the tingle, the buzz, or holy chill, what God said to the readers then conveys his stated will. It's not my application or imagination's play. It's what's said then to whom and when that carries all the day. When it's proper exegesis, then no one can refute it. Stick with what is written, not a funky hermeneutic. That's it, y'all. That's all I can do. Not a funky hermeneutic. I may never live that down. <laughs> That's what happens when my wife asks me to do strange things. You can blame her for that. Quality. Let me go back here. <clears throat>